everyone, Maya here from My Storybook, and I am very excited for this video because I get to share some excellent news with all of you. My Storybook has officially reached 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, and right now I think it's even a little bit over 1,000 subscribers. And I cannot believe how fast our community of readers and our new generation of readers are growing as we continue these reading adventures with My Storybook. It was just, I think, a week ago that I saw that we reached 1,000 subscribers, and that is so motivating to know that there are so many of you and all of us out there who are reading together and learning together and really having conversations about stories and learning how to really engage and interact with the book and getting to learn about all these cool characters and different worlds out there all through books. I'm very honored that y'all have chosen to come and join me on our discovery of all these different books and stories together and I can't wait to see what the new year brings to all of us and how my storybook and our new generation of readers will continue to grow in 2019. So my friends, I hope you had all had a wonderful holiday and I hope that you have a great new year. So I have the perfect book, I think, to start the new year, all about the positive message of being true to yourself and really being confident in who you are and not being afraid to show the world who you really are. I think that going into this new year, that's a great goal to have, something that I want to work on too, just being me. And if people like me for who I am, then that's how I know that they're a real friend. So before we get started, I just wanted to give you a little chance to share how were your holidays and were there any exciting stories that you would want to share because I'd love to hear them so go ahead tell me about one <gasps> wow that sounds awesome and what about the New Year's, my friends? You know, a lot of people set what they call a New Year's resolution. And a resolution is kind of like a goal that you have for the New Year. Something that you really want to do or improve on for yourself to make yourself a better person or to maybe help someone else out. What is a resolution or something that you want to work on for next year? Well, that's a great resolution to have. Okay, well, I think we should get started with our story. It's a very inspirational one. It encourages everyone to be true to themselves and to really believe that they are special. And you are special, just how you are. So the title of this week's featured storybook is Perfectly Norman, written and illustrated by Tom Percival. So, my friends, when you see only one name on the cover, that means that the person wrote the words and illustrated drew all the pictures in the story. So what do you see going on here on this cover? Yeah, I see a little boy, and what do you see here? Yeah, it kind of looks like he has wings, right? And the title says, Perfectly Norman. I wonder, who do you think this is? Norman, probably. Perfectly Norman. Hmm. And my friends, have you ever seen little people walking around with wings? <laughs> Not really. Perfectly Norman. So I get the idea that this book is going to be all about Norman, and maybe how he's perfect. Let's find out. Are you ready? Let's begin. Huh. So they have this little page here even before the title page. Interesting. What do you see going on? Yeah, it looks like Norman with his kitten, pet dog. So here's the title page. has the title of the book again and then the author and illustrator down here, Tom Percival. It has the whole picture going on here. My friends, what do you see in this picture? Houses. Do you see the little kids down here? Do you see Norman? How is Norman different than the other ones? Yeah, I see his bright yellow shirt. Kind of like how I'm wearing yellow. And I see all these houses. I wonder if this is his neighborhood where he lives. Okay, let's get started. Norman had always been normal. Perfectly normal. Kind of reminds me of the title, my friends, huh? Perfectly Norman. Well, Norman sounds like it's perfectly normal. Hmm. My friends, what do you think it means to be normal? Yeah, those are all good ideas. Maybe there are certain things that people do that is normal. It's an interesting thing to think about because you know what? I bet a lot of different people might have different ideas of what normal is. Hmm. Something to think about. What's going on here that's maybe normal for Norman in this book? Yeah, look at the picture. He's eating ice cream with his friends. So he was flying kite. So Norman was perfectly normal. 
until one day that tells me something's gonna change. What do you think's gonna happen? Maybe something about the wings like on the cover? <gasps> well, what do you see? Wings? So until one day, he grew a pair of wings. Now is that normal, my friends? Do people usually grow wings? That's not that normal, is it? How do you think he feels about all of a sudden, boop, he has wings? Kinda like, Shocked, surprised. How would you feel if all of a sudden one day you just grew wings? <laughs> I'd be like, whoa, wings? Pretty surprised. What would you do if you had wings? Fly. <laughs> Sounds awesome. Well, Norman had imagined growing taller or growing a beard like his dad, all that hair around your chin. But he had never imagined growing a pair of wings. Still, they were here now, so he decided to test them out right away. And what does he do? Fly. How do you think it feels to fly, my friends, with wings? Pretty awesome, I'd imagine. And how is Norman feeling right now? Feeling pretty awesome, huh? Soon Norman was swooping around and generally having the most fun Ever. You see how big these words are right here? That means you have to say it super loud. Can you say it with me? So look here, it's already kind of bigger here. Small, then big, then bigger, then biggest. Are you ready? It says the most fun ever. So we have to say this part super loud because it's so big with an exclamation mark. Okay, in three, two, one. The most fun ever. And how can you tell he's having the most fun ever? Yeah, look at his face, that big smile. But then, oh no, I hear another change coming. But then, what do you think's gonna happen? Uh-oh, he had to go in for dinner. Oh, that's not too bad. Thought something bad was gonna happen, didn't you? You see, Norman had always been so normal, he didn't know how his parents would feel about his extraordinary wings, his not so normal, amazing wings. How do you think his parents would feel? Those are some good guesses. And look down here, I see dinner. His parents calling him for dinner. And he's like, oh, okay. As he went in, Norman covered himself up in a great big coat. How's that gonna help him? Hides his wings, huh? His parents didn't notice the wings, but they did think it was odd to be wearing a coat indoors. So they did think it was kind of strange. Bath time was problematic. So was bedtime. Oh my goodness, my friends, he can't even take it off to take a bath. The coat was hot and uncomfortable, but Norman had decided that no one should see his wings, ever. My friends, then is he ever gonna be able to take the coat off? The next day, Norman went to the park, but he was far too hot to play any of his favorite games. And so it went on. Oh, my friends, how does he feel about having to wear his coat? Not too happy, huh? Long car journeys were unbearable. He couldn't stand them. The swimming pool was dreadful. Why is the swimming pool so dreadful? Can't swim in a coat, right? And that was nothing compared to his friend's birthday party. Oh, it sounds like he can't do any of the fun things that he enjoys, huh? Ever since he put that coat on, is he able to do any of the fun things? Not really. My friends, what weather do you see here? Raining? Is that good weather to wear a coat? Kind of. The only time that Norman could feel normal now was when it rained. My friends, do you see his parents right here? Here are his parents. How are they feeling about Norman? What do you think they're thinking? Look at their faces. They almost kind of seem worried, huh? What do you think they're worried about? I think maybe they also realize that Norman's been wearing that coat a lot and hasn't seemed very happy since he put it on, huh? One day, a boy tried to pull his coat off and Norman had to run away, hot-faced, angry, and sad. But I noticed, my friends, you notice what happened in the picture here with his puppy? Yeah, 
Puppy's a good friend, huh? Looks like he was helping Norman. What did he do? And I ripped the bully's pants, huh? Look at Norman. How is he feeling now? Even more sad. He'd wish he'd never grown those stupid wings. Why does he wish he never had those wings? Because then maybe he didn't have to put on the coat. But my friends, when he had the wings, how did he feel when he was flying? Do you remember? Happy, huh? He was happy with the wings, but then when he put the coat on, didn't feel too happy after that. Hmm. Then he saw some birds high up in the sky and remembered the joy of his first flight. So he's remembering how happy the wings made him, right? Just like what we talked about. It occurred to Norman that it was the coat that was making him miserable, sad, not the wings. <gasps> hmm, my friends. So it's not the wings that are making him uncomfortable. It's having to hide them in the coat, huh? What do you predict? What do you think's gonna happen next? Let's see, why don't you take that scruffy old thing off, that kind of dirty, raggy thing off, suggested his mom and dad. Norman looked up at them. Hesitantly. So hesitantly means kind of slowly, like you're not sure. His parents nodded and smiled. Norman smiled back. And what happened? Looks like he took it off and look at his face, my friends. How does he feel? That's a big smile, huh? Then he threw off the coat and let his wonderful wings fan out. Wow, my friends, look at his beautiful wings. Norman leapt into the air. Finally, he was free of that coat. He noticed a few other children wearing thick, heavy coats of their own. They looked up at Norman and around at each other nervously. There was a moment's pause, and then... My friends, what do you think's happening with these children? So it seems like they're also wearing coats like Norman used to be wearing, and they're kind of looking up at Norman like, hmm, what do you think's going on there? Yeah. Let's see. Oh my gosh, my friends, what do you see? There's so many kids with wings, huh? Just like Norman. Whoosh! Lucky I see our big words again. Can you say whoosh with me super loud? Whoosh! The sky was filled with flying people. Norman had never felt so happy. My friends, why is he feeling so happy? Because he finally gets to let his wings out. When he became his true self and used his wings, what happened? Kind of encouraged and inspired everyone else to also show their true wings and true selves. Hmm. He realized that there is no such thing as perfectly normal. But he was perfectly Norman. Which was just as it should be. My friends, so is there such thing as being perfectly normal? No, right? Because everyone's special and different in their own ways. The only way you can be perfect is when you're being perfectly you. Just like I can be perfectly Maya. And you can be perfectly whoever you are meant to be. And that is just as it should be. Just the way it's supposed to be. The end. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed our story, Perfectly Norman. What was one of your favorite parts? Oh, that's a good part. My favorite part was when all of those other people with wings flew into the air after Norman did and whoosh! They were all so happy flying around in the sky. That was one of my favorite parts. And so usually when we read stories, there's a lesson at the end, something that you want to learn from this story. What is something you maybe learned important from this book? Yeah, so in this story, Norman tried to hide his wings, right? He tried to hide who he was by wearing that big coat. My friends, do you ever feel like sometimes you're wearing a big coat? Like sometimes you have to hide something about yourself or hide something about who you are under this coat? Maybe you're not actually wearing a coat, but you feel like you have to hide something about yourself or change something about who you are. And how does that feel? Maybe not too good like Norman. Maybe you didn't feel like you're having as much fun because you had to kind of hide who you were, right? But my friends, when you're just yourself and you act just how you want to act and you feel free to be who you are, how does that make you feel? Happy, right? And that's 
just like Norman realized just how it should be. And just like Norman's family in the story, how did his parents feel when they saw his true self in his wings? They still loved him, right? So the people who really matter will love you for who you are no matter what. That's super special. Okay, friends, I have a very fun craft that I would love to show you to go along with our story, so let's check it out. So for this week's craft, another fun, beautiful one, but since our whole story was about showing your true wings and showing yourself and really taking flight and being who you are, our craft this week is to make your own pair of wings. And look how awesome these look, right? So this is just made out of cardboard. I just got a big piece of cardboard, and it was right after Christmas for me, so I had a ton of cardboard lying around, which is perfect. You can also go to any store and ask them for extra cardboard boxes. They also have, they always have like a ton, and they just give them to you for free. They actually probably like it if you take it off their hands. So just get a big piece of cardboard. I cut out some wing shapes, or this wing shape, and you go wild and crazy with all the colors. I did swirls, I used glitter glue, I used puffy paint, I used markers, you can use little puff balls, anything you want. Make them as unique as you can, make them representative of you. So these are your wings that show just your personality. So I had lots of color and lots of swirls and just made mine really happy because I'm happy and I love using lots of color. So you make your wings, you decorate them however you want to, that shows you. The way I uh, made it to attach is I just made two little holes at the top and just used string up here. So you can just put it around your head like this. And my string's kind of long, but you would just adjust it to kind of how long you want it. And then it would just hang around your neck and look, kind of stand up to show you the back. So here they are. You've got wings on and they're beautiful wings. And then that way you have your own pair of wings to kind of give you confidence and courage to show off your true self to the world. So all the directions and picture by picture steps for this craft can be found on my blog, My Storybook, by clicking on the link below. There you'll also find some additional resources like main ideas, vocabulary to integrate throughout the story, themes, and additional reading resources for other stories and books. Okay, my friends. Well, as I mentioned in the beginning, I am so thrilled to be going on these reading adventures with all of you. And I can't wait to see how our community of readers and our new generations of readers will continue to grow in 2018. We already reached 1,000 subscribers this year in just a little over a year of starting my storybook. And that is incredible growth. And I know together we can build a whole great community of readers and really share all of the wonders of reading and all those different worlds and treasures and books together. So I've really enjoyed all of the support and especially as I haven't been uploading as many read alouds since starting my first year of teaching first grade but I do try to upload at least one a month and I am currently on winter break so I'm working on lots of new content to share with all of you so please be sure to help support my storybook by subscribing to my youtube channel and to the blog mystorybook.com you can also find me on instagram facebook twitter all those social media links are down there below please share with your friends to also help spread our reading community well Again, I hope you had a wonderful holiday and a great New Year's. And until next time, my friends, and until our next reading adventure, my friends, happy reading.